Welcome back, everybody. It's Slider Havoc, and we are back on the Revenge of the Sea Team server, and we are getting ready to go in. In case you haven't seen the last episode, check it out. We have ventured through the deep dark, and we have found ourselves a house, I guess, a mansion. I don't know. It's a pretty interesting. There's the path we brought came in. It's a pretty interesting looking uh, location. Are those like stairs or something like that? Did I just fall, and I didn't want to fall? No, we are definitely going in through the roof. There's no doubt about that. Hey. There we go. Weird. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely going in through the roof. Because, I mean, seriously, like, if you have a house and stuff like that, isn't that, like, the first place uh, you would think of, like, to go... Yeah, we're putting you guys down here. Uh, through the floor, right? So why would we go through the floor? Why would we not go through the roof? So we're just going to get started and check this place out. Um... Are these, well, that's a useless door. What in the world? Just keep this place lit. I am not getting, you know, jacked up in this place. It's not going to happen. Not to me. I never die. All right. So I uh, stole some of the torches off the roof because, well, I wanted to make sure I had enough to go through this place. I'm really liking these, like, colored oak and... Orange frequency, white frequency. Very, very interesting. I, I know that, you know, we're down in the deep dark and stuff like that. So things might be, you know, a little bit slightly different colored and stuff. But I don't know. Oh, whoa. How did I? What the hell are you? A shadow monster? What in the world? What in the world? the heck um torches what in the world is this guy that is crazy ah another one are you like not dying come on um is that like a spawner ah! how am i supposed to get in here Oh, 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 I'm taking damage. Come on, reload. Oh, break this thing. Break that thing. What the heck? Shadow monsters. Oh, what did we get? We got uh, something for Abyssalcraft. One of those. Waiting boots from Bios of Plenty and Romulan Ale. That did not seem worth it. That that did, did not seem worth it. But it's okay. It's okay. We've got a lot more to see. A lot more to do. This is a wraparound, really? Okay. <laughs> die. Die. At least they die with, like, two shots, so that's cool. And there's nothing else in here. Okay. Well, I think we've thoroughly checked out this floor, right? Yeah, that one. Yep. Alright, let's go down a layer. Some coins there. Alright. First corner. Oh, is that a white spider? Interesting. We'll come back to you. Um, I think I'm going to get lost. Uh, uh, there's, there's a strong feeling I'm going to get lost. Okay. I'm kind of thinking like these wood floors happen to be the rooms. I saw that shadow monster. Don't think I didn't see him. What in the world is going on here? What am I getting for the Shadow Gem Shard? Oh, we're going to have to find out about those. That could lead to a whole nother like, episode of stuff to do. Yeah. Oh, you were just like in a little hole right there. Um, yeah, you, you need a break. Yep, 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 definitely need to do that. Shadow Monsters, huh? Redstone, some iron. I don't need a stencil. Copper, sure, why not? Whatever. Safari net. I don't care about the saplings. This is interesting. It looks like just a house full of loot, apparently. There's hopefully some good loot and then some whatever loot, but whatever. Okay, we're back in the middle. Okay. So if, if a door is open, we've been through it. That's that's the logic we got to use, right? So I don't close doors behind me. 
I leave them open. Okay. What kind of anti spider from Abyssal Craft? Are these the ones that are like actually not on the ground? They just look like it. Like you're actually up in the air over here. I will use my pickaxe too. Looks like I'm gonna get a lot of loot and stuff, so that's cool. A lot of coins. Huh. An anti spider eye, is that what that is? Since this is an anti spider, that's an anti spider eye. Break, break, break. Okay, okay cool. Wow, there's a lot of zombies around here. Iron chest plate and some more copper. Is that what that was? An anti spider eye? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Did I get anti string too? That'd be funny. Alright, um. Moving on. That door needs to be opened. Okay. Make sure we're checking everything out here. Ugh. Nothing worthwhile in here. Okay. That's just around the corner. Yep. Anything over here? Oh, something. Nothing worthwhile there. So, I think I'm going to finish checking this out. It does... I mean, I think that was about as... Climactic as it's gonna get. I, I don't see any more um, craziness pursuing. Ensuing? Ensuing. There you go. Not pursuing. So, what I might do is I might go ahead and kind of do a little cutsy doodle here. And then, if anything exciting does happen, well, I will catch it on uh, film and I can always clip it in later. But I, I'm thinking it's just gonna be some random loot. And I'm not upset by that. I mean, I may have been expecting a little bit more, but you know, it's cool. It's, it's like whatever, you know? So I'm going to go check out the rest of this house and, uh, then I will be back. Anybody hearing that? Tell me someone's hearing that. Uh, what is that? What is making those noises? Okay, I don't know if anybody's ever really opened these. And I'm really not quite sure what it is. Like, it's Notch! Notch is chasing after me! It's the ghost of Notch! Get away! And then they do a little damage and they die. Okay! What? What are these things? Are these the guys making noises? Depth ghouls? Okay, they don't seem to be... Like, trying to harm me. Are you guys the ones making noises? Hold on. Can I get in here without hurting you guys? Oh! Okay, well that wasn't nice, so now you die. You guys must be friends with uh, Uncle Bad Touch, huh? Yeah, you're a Bisselcraft, aren't you? What's this guy saying? Mr. Wilson! The heck? Oh! Oh! Endoplasm! Yeah! Or ectoplasm, sorry. Uh, uh. Get away from me. I don't want this. What is that? Like rotten meat? Where did the creeper come from? What the freaky frack? Right. Which just sounds really cool. Uh, uh, uh. Get away. Yeah. Traffic jam. Get the rest of you guys. What is this stuff? Anti plagued flesh. Um, what is that all about? A lot of anti stuff here. Anti plague. Pl 
plagued flesh. What are you good for? Can't craft it, but you can make a potion of annihilation as well. And a potion of leaping, a jump boost for three minutes, Corellium Plague for four. Antimatter. Corellium Plague. That's some interesting stuff. Okay. Well, who knows? All right. So the house is complete. Um, this is not the side I flew on. It, it was an interesting house. Uh, I'm not going to say it was necessarily worth it, but what I will say is what I, well, I will consider worth it is the fact that <clears throat> I know that we can come down here and do some mining and get some materials pretty fast, which is really, really cool. And I, I don't know. I really don't see another use for this place. So who knows? Maybe we'll find some other use. Um, maybe it's actually a great source material that I don't realize. I, mean, I have an idea because I went in that, uh, that hole, I guess you would call it the tunnel cave thing. It wasn't really a cave, but went in there and there was a ton of materials like just going down. So, I mean, I guess it could be a good source for that. And it wasn't an all in all bad haul. I mean, I'm walking over with 19 diamonds, three emeralds, 25 iron, 22 gold, a couple chance cubes. So, I mean, we walked away with some fun stuff. And, yeah, maybe I'll come back uh, off camera and try to figure out if I can set up a way to mine this place uh, productively. And, yeah, yeah, just keep saying yeah. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the overworld. And when we get there, I've got one other thing I want to try out. So we'll probably be keeping this one to be a relatively well really short episode today but we've had so many long ones that a short one's okay so we'll be back all right guys so we are back and i've got an idea so as i was talking about as i was in the uh in that dimension or whatever that a quarry if if there was a quarry kind of thing or whatever you know or a mining solution or whatever that would be awesome right well i think i found one i've uh i figured you know i've been playing with extra utils so much because of the 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 dimension and whatnot so then i went on the website and i found this little thing called an ender quarry and this thing seems super super easy to use but it's a little bit expensive but i think we can do it i've got like 12 minutes is my goal to finish this up in 12 minutes right so i've got these endothermic pumps which seem relatively easy it's just a water bucket a lava bucket some ender infused obsidian with a pickaxe, I have a cheap, right? I can make two of those really, really easily. Not a problem, right? Then I've got these ender cores, which are ender-infused obsidian. Oh, by the way, that's just obsidian with uh, an ender pearl, right? So I need the ender-infused that. And then magical wood, which is four gold ingots and four enchanted books with a bookshelf, gives us one wood. I think we can do that pretty easily. Or I could take a bookshelf and fill it up with some liquid XP. That's actually a really cheap way to do it. I, did, I didn't even see that one before, but now that I see that, um, I think I'm going to make a fluid transposer, throw a whole bunch of XP in there, and do it that way. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty simple to make those, and I'm going to need, what, eight of those. So that's not a big deal. All right, this matrix is really, really simple. It's one of those obsidians with some burnt quartz, which is literally just burnt quartz, and some diamonds. We've got plenty of those. And that's it. Oh, and then diamond pickaxe and that. So I'm going to start putting this together right now. I've got some ender pearls. Uh, oh, I don't have ender pearls. Oh yeah, I do actually have ender pearls. I have ender pearls over here or over. No, that's empty. Um, oh, they're. Are they in my chest? Uh, they might be in the spirit world. But I think we can get this done, and I can set up this quarry and start usefully uh, using that location. Okay, whew, fourteen ender pearls. There we go. And. Um, I just realized as I went to go try to fill my power cell so we can make that, that I didn't even piece together this guy. Um, I forget the recipe, Corey. Those, those, okay, the diamond, the cores, okay. Can I just do this? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! All right, and I don't need this extra one here. All right, so... I've got a uh, redstone uh, frame being filled with redstone at the moment. I, yeah, when I said I wanted to get this done quickly, I wasn't even close. Like, this took me, like, another, I don't know, hour or so. Because I was trying to get all this stuff done. And I don't know how much 
Recipe for that. What's this used for? This is used for this. 4,000 millibuckets. Okay. And we are currently at 36, 37. Okay. So it's almost there. And then that way we'll have a redstone energy cell that we can charge up. And hopefully I can just connect it here and just like charge it really, really fast. That's what I'm going for, which means I'm going to have to break this block. And if not, then we'll just stick it down there. But I think it'll be okay. I think, think, think it'll be okay. All right. One more. There we go. Start filling that guy up. I don't know how long this is going to take. But it might take a second. It's okay. We got some time. So here's the plan, right? I'm going to go down there and I'm going to set up this quarry. We have to put these fences and then I'll give it some power and that'll start the quarry. And then I've got these chests I'm going to have it connected to. And I'm going to try to like have one chest connect to another chest connect to another chest because these things are pretty huge um, while we're waiting. I can kind of show you. Um, fortunately we had all that diamond from when we went uh, mining the other day but these are pretty big right so these are going to hold a lot and then my goal is if I connect this like here and this to here see my goal is and I'm going to try this out real quick like this and then I put one of these servos and I made a slightly hard uh, better servo hoping that you know it would move it all right and do this I'm hoping it would take from this one and move into this one. I haven't tied this yet. Oh, yes, it's, it does work. Awesome. Awesome. Now, I just don't know if it's going to pull from half the... No, it pulls from the whole chest. That's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I hadn't tested it out yet, but this way I can just interlink all the chests down there. And uh, I have just basically one giant chest that this thing's going to be filling. So that's awesome. I'm excited now. I don't know how long these take to break. Or do I need an axe? Do I need an axe? I haven't tried to break one of these. And apparently, I don't know how. There we go. Let me go get an axe real quick. Do I have a diamond axe? Um, let's try doing it with stone. And let me grab three. Oh, I don't even want to waste money on an axe. Or waste my diamonds on an axe. Here we go. Here we go. Please tell me I didn't like set these down and I'm never able to pick them back up because they're just freaking. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Whew. I was like, I'd be very upset. I didn't see any cracking marks. I'm like, eh. All right. So we know this is going to be good. This is awesome. And then that redstone energy cell should be just about done. And then we can run down there, set up this quarry. And then I just freaking awesome ores and stuff like that. Oh, this is too good to be like working out for me. Okay, we got that. And if I remember correctly, I think I remember the recipe for this one. It is you here, you here, you go in the middle. I have three there, right? Yeah. And three like this. Ah, good, good, good. I memorized that one properly. All right. Now, if I set you here and I set the back side, which is this one, to in. Oh, no, it's already filling. Look how fast that's filling up. Okay, cool. So that's going to fill up. We're going to rock that for a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and pause because I really want to get this done. I don't want this episode to go any longer. So I'm going to pause here. We'll be back. All right, guys. So we are back. And oh, there we go. Um, I just want to say this, this machine here is way more amazing than I ever thought it was before. Um, yeah. So I just filled this up with 20 million RF, right? And this thing is still fully charged. This thing is only down to like 42%. And this thing still has matter backed up in it. Like matter dust. That's awesome. I don't know. I, I just, I think it's absolutely amazing. So anyways, before this tornado catches up with us, I think we've got everything we need. I've got the fence. We've got power. We've got the ender quarry. I think we've got absolutely everything we need to start a quarry down there. And then I can start working on Tesseracts to bring stuff back. And I was already working on them because I wanted to be able to pump uh, lava from the nether like a while ago. But I just never really got into it because I needed to make endurium uh, ingots and stuff. And that, that took some work that I just didn't want to put in at the time. But now... I think I might have a reason because that's a ton of resources down there that we saw and let's go 
And I shouldn't need any more torches because we should be working in the lit area, right? Right? Okay. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Uh, I'm going to bat mode because I'm going to have to fly down, right? Or fall down is actually what I'm going to do. Okay. So it's got to be in a flat area. This much I do know. So let's go ahead and get some of these blocks out of the way just to start. I don't know how big I'm going to make it or even how big I can make it. Oh, get away. Really? But once we get it set up, it shouldn't be an issue. This should not be an issue. And then I think I can just expand the size of it by just keep moving the fences outward. It's why I grabbed a lot of fence in the first place was because I wanted to be able to uh, make this court as big as possible so I don't have to come down too often. Oh, you're shooting arrows at me? Yeah, well, I'm shooting a laser gun at you. What now, punk? Man. Come on, quit moving. There we go. So let's let's see how big we can make this bad boy. All right, so here is where we're going to put the quarry. Let me see. Um, we're going to go put it right here for right now. And then I'm going to make this area as big as I can for the moment. And we can always expand. I don't believe it has to be in any specific, like, order. I think it can be almost any shape or size, actually, as long as the fence is uh, contained. All right. Except that would bother me if I just leave one block on the way, so let's not do that. And let's kill these stinking no good fart big nugans. Oh. There we go. And hopefully this works. I am I am so jazzed right now. Okay, cool. I hope the mobs walk into here just to just to screw with them like you guys are annoying. Very annoying. Um, that's the level right here. Okay, let's see if this thing works. Okay. Uh, boundary established. Cool. All right. And then we just put you here. And I set you to out, right? And it turned orange, so it looks like it's supposed to be working. Oh, but I got to put a uh, storage on it. Okay. So this is where you're supposed to, like, come in and be awesome. Okay. There we go. And then this is where my invention comes into play. Like this. Okay. And go, oh, good grief. That is getting really annoying. Okay, there. Like this. And then I just need to put the servos on like that. So you go to that. And you go to that. <clears throat> and let's see. And I believe this thing works with its own chunk loader. So, oh okay, yeah, look at that. It's working. Come on, leave me alone. It is working. It is working over this uh, in this corner. Um, I don't seem... I know it had a particle. There's the particles. There it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're working right there. Oh. Let's see. Are we getting any ores? Oh, yeah. Dark gem ore, iron ore, tin ore, titanium ore. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I don't know about you guys, but we, I'm excited. We found a use for the dark darkness. Uh, whatever it was called. I forgot the name of it already. But, yes, the dark, dark spot. We're here. We have found a use for it. I will have an ever-expanding boundary, 
and this is awesome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was fun, and I hope this was useful, if that's what you're looking for, too. So until next time, guys, I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.